go live. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining the session. Um, who do we have? Now we have some people already. Uh, we have, I'm going to appreciate everybody here from TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I think we have Coletta, Real Timmy, Official Inena. We have Chris. Uh, Chris is sending. Okay. Chris, I'm coming. I'm going to uh, accept your request. I just want to quickly say hello to everybody here. Uh, those joining from TikTok, I love you so much. God bless you for joining this discussion. Um, Remath TV on, on Facebook, thank you for joining. Um, good evening, Ma. Oh, God bless you, Nemo. Nemo K, right? Okay. So, all right. For those of you who are just joining, this is, uh, today is going to be the part three of what we've been discussing, which is, um, um, behind every failed marriage. So before I just introduce the topic, I just want us to say, um, use a minute's uh, prayer, um, because in everything we're asking for God guidance. Yes. Yet see my, my, um, USM logistic. Yeah. You can still join me today. You were awesome last week. So. Please, can we close our eyes and pray? Because at the end of this session, we want solution, right? Not fight and not, um, you know, not queries. We want oneness. We want results. Um, Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just want to welcome you to our presence here, Lord. We ask, oh Lord, that in today's episode, Behind Every Failed Marriage, part three, that you be, you come and be in our midst. You teach us the words to say. You teach us the things to, to say today that will bring wellness, bring wellness and, you know, deliverance in the life of people that would open their eyes and that will help them change their mindset from the already existing mindset in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, today we will not be condescending to any gender. We want, we want oneness, Lord. We want Christ-like marriage, you know, godly marriages, biblical marriages. We help, oh Lord, that through this medium you help us achieve that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I would like you to say amen on the comment section. No. I know I'm not even hearing anybody say amen. So, yes. Now, um, let me see. Um, um, I'm going to... If you want to join me, you can join me. You can request to join me. Um, I'm just going to touch bases with what we have said last week. I think I have some requests. Okay, let me see. So, because a lot of people kept saying um, marriages are failing because of women, some even alleged Nigerian women and everything. So I said, okay, let us talk about what is making marriages fail. God bless you, official in Igwe. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Okay. Afternoon. God bless you. So um, I think I have another request here. Yetima. Okay. Let me see if I can answer here. Hold on. Okay. God bless you. You uh please introduce yourself again. USM Logistics, right? Yes, I'm yet in the yes. USM Logistics. Okay, she's the owner of USM Logistics. Um, she's an awesome shipper here in the US. In she's in Dallas, uh, Texas. Uh she's doing great. Um, if you want to ship here in the US, you want to ship, I'll say ship through her. She also ships from um US to Nigeria, from Nigeria to US. All this app at night, if I want to ship it through, don't even try to charge me. As when I'll come and disgrace your life. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. So, oh, thank you so much, Prof, on Facebook. Thank you so much, sir. Um, uh, Oti Will, thank you so much, sir. Keep, uh, keep the food work, my pastor. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you for joining us live. Thank you so much. Um, Prof is a family, is a close family to us. Has one of the biggest churches in um, Abakaliki. And he's been here a couple of times. Um, you know, my brother was my husband will say he's my brother. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. So we're talking about why uh, why is why do we have failed marriages? So many people last time said, ah, it's the system, the US is encouraging people to to uh, you know to break up their marriages. Uh, some people said it's the woman, no man wanted to take responsibility. So today we're just gonna continue on um we're gonna continue on that topic behind 
every failed marriage. So last week, before we have a man join us, um, last week I was telling us 20 things that a man should do to help, you know, keep his marriage, to prevent it from breaking, which is one of the most important things is God. And it's very funny that um, none of the people that have been coming here is actually um, realizing the God factor in marriage. They just think it's by their strengths. It's by what they do it's, or it's by what they are not doing. Forgetting that in everything, God should be the number one. He's the one to preserve the marriage. Yes, you know, he's the one to preserve that marriage. And um, I told us about some things that the men should do. Um, I think last week I stopped at uh, um, compliment her looks and character because I know that I even uh, used myself as an example in terms of complimenting looks and character and saying, yeah, so many women after, you know, childbearing, they kind of lose confidence in their body and, you know, in their shape or in their body. And sometimes they rely on the man to reinforce that, look, I still love you and you're still to me the way you were when we got married. But so many people don't even, um, um, you know, remember this factor in marriage. Thank you for watching uh, um, Magongo. God bless you. I see all your contributions. Chin on so and Zenta, God bless you. I see your contributions. God bless you. Kate Arrow, thank you from Facebook. God bless you. Okay, I'm going to appreciate people in TikTok. I can't just let go. Princess Dell, thank you so much. You sir, five seven, thank you so much. Kella, thank you. Uh, it's going so fast, but just know that I appreciate you on TikTok. So yeah, we're going to just continue from there before I start. You know, getting your own. Um, you know, <laughs> before I get your insight, because the whole program, this program is called Insight. So the whole this thing is to get insight about situations, real life issues that Christians also go through in their marriages or in their daily life. See, it's, we're not only going to be talking about marriage. Though. There are times we'll be talking about other things. I have things, I have topics. Sister, uh, sister on dark, smile small now. <laughs> now who hurt you? Who is the on dark? <laughs> they said you should smile, though, that nobody, <laughs> that nobody hurts you. Okay, so we're going to be talking a lot of things. Sometimes we'll talk health. Yes. Um, I'm a health professional, so sometimes we'll bring that topic and bring people to talk. Sometimes we'll talk about mental illness, like depression, who is causing, you know, there's so many topics we'll be talking about and I so welcome everybody. You know, um, I welcome you and I thank you for being here and being a part of this program. Now, today, let's continue with Behind Every Failed Marriage. I've told us that marriage is two people are responsible for any failed marriage. And marriages don't fail, but these two people are actually the ones that failed in the marriage, not like the marriage itself failed. When, when there's a marital breakup or when, when there was a breakup in a marriage, two people must be responsible. Ghosts or air did not just do it. Even if it's demons, even if it's spiritual husband, even if it's the government, the government came through two people, and that is either the man or the woman. So we have to bear responsibility. Yes, responsibility is um is a very important um virtue. I would call responsibility a virtue. Yes, uh Professor OT, who's a pastor in Facebook, said foundation is everything. Marriage foundation matters. Foundation de determines longevity and strength. The deeper a foundation, the taller and more visible the building will be. Marriage laid on shallow foundations will, will crash once, they might, once the, wind, the wind blows. If you don't get it right from the beginning, we may not get it right during the process. Thank you so much, sir. That's a very, um, that's a very beautiful contribution. Um, so to continue from where we stopped, uh, I would say uh, to the man, I have a lot for the women to do, so a lot of things that a woman has to do. But one of the things too I want the man to do is hold your wife in public. I'm telling you, that is romance. Most of you, the aspect of romance is dead in your life. You just, you feel very a cake, you feel very old. You don't know how to romance your wife. Sometimes you don't even need to, see, you don't need to want sex before you kiss your wife or something. Don't always introduce romance on the bed when you need something or when she needs something. No, even on the road, when you're walking, just sometimes grab her hands and hold her. Sometimes just whisper that word, you know, I love you. You know, sometimes just give her a kiss. It doesn't matter if it's in public or something. Just give her a peck on her cheek and remind her how much, you know, and what she means to you. You have to constantly remind the woman. Yes, women love to listen. Yes, women, their ears always itches. A woman wants to hear. You can convince a woman easily by the words you tell her. 
even when you don't intend them, you know, even though you don't intend, you know, those things you're telling her, you can just creep her off her feet. Look at Eve now. Eve, yes, we're eating. That's why she spent so much time with, with the snake. Uh, okay, if she's going to eat it, this is going to happen. Are you sure it's going to happen? So women like to listen. Tell them these things. It's a two-way thing. Man love their ego. Lifted too. Yes, I'm, I'm coming there. Now I'm talking about the woman for the, what the man has to do. We're going to get to what the woman has to do. How will a man hold a woman that frowns constantly, like the woman on the, on the bottom left? You people should leave the woman on the bottom. Nandia Prince. Oh, God. Ben Flay said that only certain women, woman, Sha. No. See, you see, that is why we are having this problem. You people have started a kid today. Somebody said, how can you hold somebody in public like the woman in, on the left or so official in a way? People should stop it. You don't even know these people. You see, you've just concluded. I want to say, how can you kiss a woman that frowns like her? So you people just want to finish her. You want me to take her off the life or what? What to, she just came home. She has not been here for weeks. And now you people have just started attacking her. You see, if she shouts, now you people will say she's shouting. Let's take it easy with her, please. Um, not be certain. Now, only certain women. Ben Flay, never. Once you're married, it is your responsibility to do these things. There is nothing like certain women. Or, you know, you do it for some women and you don't do it for some women. No, that's a big lie. You have to do it. That's what keeps your marriage going. Yes. Kiss her in public. Give her a hug. Remind her of how much you love her and how much she means to you. Then the next one, I know most men will not want it. They've been telling me it is in our nature. It is the white man that came to teach you people this thing. The, our forefathers cheated. They had numerous women. No, that is one of the main factors. Like 50 to 60% of why marriages fail is because of this thing. Cheating spouses. The husband cheating on the wife. Infidelity in marriage. So many women cannot start infidelity. I you know the funny thing is you're trying to uh, compare this age or this generation with the generation we had those days. Please, things change. Even God understands that people evolve. You cannot compare the fathers who had those days. What did the father those days benefit you? They do it first year of the marriage, and after that, they stop. Thank you, official darlings. That's my beloved daughter. She's right. You do these things in your first year of marriage, and after the first year of, of your marriage, you stop all these things. That is wrong. That is totally wrong. You have to continue those things. And to those who are saying that um, our forefathers had numerous women, this is not our forefathers' age. Though. Our forefathers did not require their wives to walk. Women didn't walk in the times in our forefathers' age. Women stayed at home and ate all the money that our forefathers could bring. Women didn't walk. But now you're expecting the woman to walk, you're expecting the woman to do so many things, and you still want to treat the woman like our forefathers treated our foremothers. What is somebody saying here? Like, oh, it went so fast. Cindy, I think a man should be romantic, but women should give cues too. Touch his hand so he remembers to hold you. Our mind did to provide the job stress for men are not mind readers too. Okay, yeah, you're right. So sometimes the woman she's trying to um the person there is trying to say sometimes the woman too should initiate it. So what am I saying today? Evolve. We have the time that is evolving. We have internet now. We have so many things now that we didn't have in our forefathers. You cannot continue. <laughs> Unbreakable might say we are here. You cannot continue to live like your forefathers. You cannot continue to do the things they did and expect the women to do something different from your foremother, from your, you know, our foremothers too. Now, you both say make women they work, oh, no be us African men. Yeah, but a lot of African men are asking what you bring on the table. What do they mean? That's not true. <laughs> A lot of African men who want their wives to walk. That, that's the that's a new thing. The, 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 the lady in pink is my spec. She's gorgeous. Hey. Okay. Oh. People have started doing spec on my life, um, on my life view. It is well, oh. My own is when the time reaches. Mokuna shall remember me. It's well. So don't do those things. Things are evolving now. If you even see some churches that... You know, some church those days that have had so many rules, like don't watch TVs and all. So they, they buy TV, they use TVs. So things are evolving. The man, do better. Don't cheat on your wife. Woman, don't cheat on your husband. Stay faithful. There are so many diseases that the enemy has introduced now that is circulating. So come, <laughs> on the conversation, they are distracting me. I won't listen again. Calm down, boss. 
Okay. The next one is uh, have discussion about the day. Ask your wife, how did the day, how did your day go, honey? Ask your husband, how did your day go? Sometimes, even if you think that the woman is, is at home all day, taking care of the children, that is more stressful than you that went out to work. That's a stressful day. Ask her about it. Honey, how is your day going? How did your day go? I hope it wasn't too stressful. She wants to have that conversation with you. Sometimes the woman is lonely. Yes, I'm going to come there. The next one, protect your wife from your disrespectful in-laws. This has caused so many breakup in marriages. I know so many, uh, so many husbands that, you know, allow their, their, their siblings to insult their wife. I know one of my daughters from UK told me that I can barely stay in my husband's house because the siblings came and they are staying with me in UK. His brother and his brother's wife, they are all insulting me. I live like a slave in my husband's house. And when I get my papers, I'm going to just leave. I'm just trying to get a job. I'm going to leave the house. So imagine leaving your husband because of his siblings. I'm telling you, it, it is going on. So, so many women are angry with their husband because of their siblings. So protect your wife. Keep them away. Protect your wife from disrespectful siblings. The day you begin to side your sibling over your wife, even when you think your wife is wrong, I'm telling you, even when you think your wife is wrong, you begin to side your siblings over her before your siblings. You have lost that woman's trust. You have lost her confidence in you. And you've lost so much. Some men have very disrespectful brothers and sisters. They feel okay because my brother came to get married to you. I can say the hell of what I want to say to you. No, you, the man, create that boundaries. Protect. If you want to have a sweet marriage, make sure that your, 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 your sibling, your brother or your sister do not have the privilege or the rights. I don't care what it is to insult, insult your wife. You're going to lose your wife. You're going to lose your confidence if you don't do that. The next one is remember her birthdays and anniversaries. Some people, once they're married, they don't know what, what is your birthday. You practically have to remind them. Honey, today is my birthday. Oh. Are you guys hearing noise in the background? Of children, are you hearing noise in the background? I think no. you are morning. You can hear the noise? No. Oh. Oh. Is it bad? Is it that bad? I think it's kind of like echoing. I oh. don't know. Okay. Yeah, they are morning and it is very bad. Yeah, God. It is well. So protect your wife. Remember her anniversaries and make sure you celebrate them. It doesn't matter how small or how big. Make sure you celebrate them. Uh, great time for them. And one of the things, again, I see with men, they know how to raise their voices. Uh -huh. they, they know how to you know, raise their voices and they don't forget the past. So I'm going to say this to both parties. Raise your argument. Do not raise your voice. When you raise your voice, the other person is not hearing anything. Uh -huh. Ben Slay, oh, this love is getting too much, oh. Ben Slay is saying, like, the, ready, the lady in pink, I want to protect you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Ah, I'll not say anything, no. They've started they're toasting themselves in this. Listen, anybody that tries it, decides that it will be offering everything uh, on this platform. Okay. I'll not say much again. So, yes, protect them. Raise your arguments, not your voice. You don't have to raise your voice every time. Sometimes you raise your voice because you don't want them to, you don't want to deal with the issues. You know, people raise their voices when they don't want to deal with issues. They'll start raising their voice. So that by the time you know it, you're forgotten the issues. You're not talking about, oh, why are you raising your voice? So deal with the issue by not raising your voice, but raising your arguments. Deal with it, don't raise your voice. And don't raise your hands on your wife, the men. I know you are more school line. The Bible did not tell us that Adam beat his wife, or if we want to go there, or that David beat any of his wife. So the men these days that are beating their wives, shame on you. Nothing, nothing should warrant you, should ever, you know, uh, warrant you to lay your hands on your wife. Don't do that. Don't do that. And also be present. There are so many men that think that they are present, but they are actually absent in their marriage. Your wife don't feel you. We're talking last week. We said Adam was there while Eve was discussing with the serpent, and he did nothing about it. He was present, but absent at the same time. So the point where Eve ate the apple. So you see, you can be present and absent at the same time in 
your marriage, which is a very bad thing. So please, be present in your marriage. Know about her emotions. Know about the things she's going through. If your man, if your woman constantly makes mistakes in that marriage, it's your fault because you were not present in the marriage. If your wife is constantly falling into the wrong hands, into the wrong friendship, into making bad decisions, it is your fault. Bentley, Lady in Pink, today I'm supporting any of your opinion. Love starts by showing genuine support. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supporting any of your opinion. Love starts by showing genuine support. Okay. Oh. It is well. Oh. I will not put mouth in this thing that is happening. Let us say. Uh... <laughs> Something just happened now. Unbreakable is telling Ben Flay that another another brother is gone. Unbreakable. You too one day will take you in the mighty name of Jesus. You too one day. But you to you, you say under brother is gone. You too, very soon too, you'll be gone. Because we are going, we are going to take you by force. So now I'm going to get to the women and the things that I want you to do as the woman. Twelve things I want you to do as the woman. The woman supports your husband's goals and aspirations. Now, before I go fully to what I want the woman to do, let me give our guest an opportunity. Let me be gone though. He said, let me be gone. No, she deserves it. Okay, so, uh, Officer Nina, what do you have to say about um, why marriages fail? Who is behind uh, failed marriages? I'll continue with what the woman has to do, but after, let me hear your own uh, opinions. I don't believe marriages fail. People in marriage fail each other. It could be the man, it could be the woman. So, okay. marriages don't fail. Marriage is what you make out of it. That you know, you we're going to deal with. Okay. Okay. Fight, fight yourselves. Fight yourselves. Okay. 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 It's incompatible. What you people like. You cannot be an alpha male and marry an alpha female. Of course, you guys should sit to yourself. Please. Okay. Give me one minute, please. Everybody watch this. Oh, my eyes was too much for me. Yes, I'm listening to you. So I'll say marriages don't fail. People fail themselves in marriages. It could be the man or the woman. They fail each other. Okay. So the attitude they give each other, like you said, shouting. If your, your spouse is doing something you don't like, you have a conversation with he or she to, to say the things that is making you angry or the things you don't like. Mm -hmm. Go from there. And then if you are stubborn, you should know a limit to your stubbornness in your in your marriage. For women saying that men are romantic. For me, if I feel like going out, I am bored. After my husband, I want to go out. If I am okay. hungry and my husband is not there, I'll tell him I'm hungry. I don't want you. So it's not a big deal. You guys are married already, so you shouldn't be waiting for one person to make a move all the time. A man can serve his wife breakfast in the bed. You can choose to go on a vacation. You must not go out of the country. You can choose to travel to another state to go and have a vacation with your wife based on how buoyant you are. Okay, I live in Dallas. If I'm bored in Dallas, I can choose to go to the host with my husband or mm -hmm. or San Antonio. So if you live in Lagos and then you are born in Lagos, I can choose to take us past to Maryland for a weekend. If you have someone to watch your kids, you can do that. You just have to spice up your your marriage. Don't be don't be old school in your marriage, and then you have your spouse, and then you miss each other. So that's not say the men, the men. Sometimes women to make move. If your husband, how can you cook a good meal for your husband? You eat and finish. You leave you come out. You know, drag a entire room. 
go flood and wear for in bed. Come back to complain. Say, women, they look your your husband. So we women to do better. If your husband don't drag you, drag her. Uh, if your husband don't drag you, you should drag him. Drag him to the bedroom. Lock the door. You see, uh, so the woman that uh, you've heard now what she's saying. So if he doesn't drag you, you the man, you the woman, drag, you know, drag him if he doesn't drag you. That's good. So um, USM Logistics, what, what, what do you think is, is the main, okay, I'm going to be straightforward. Between the man and the woman, because we know that marriages has to do with two parties. What do you think with the, with the percentage of breakup and failed marriages, which gender do you think is responsible for failed marriages? Which gender? I know if I say they're going to come for me, but let me say what I want to say real quick so that at least it's going to be directed to the, so the people will be able to figure it out. So I opened my TikTok today and then I started hearing about 4B. This is about men talking about why women don't need men anymore. Hmm. Now it's talking about this women, women men are not reprocreating anymore. They don't want to be mm. slept with anymore. They don't want to become a baby mamas anymore. They don't want to... Okay, yeah, I can hear you. Uh -huh. They don't want to reprocreate anymore. They don't want to have kids by death be dad anymore. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. Mm. Now, in as much as um, marriage is, fit, is 100% from on both sides, mm. but most of the time, because a man is supposed to be the head of the household. How can you as a king watch your all, the, the people that you govern, the people that you think over, how can you watch them? How can you watch them just crumble right in front of you, even when you still have the crown on your head? What does that mean? It means that you are a failure. Now, it takes two to tango, quite all right. But as a man that leads his home, you don't make things easy for her. You don't encourage her. You don't push her to a limit. Now, we are not saying that there are not some women that these men do for and they are ungrateful. If you remember last week, I was talking about narcissistic. Hold on, hold on. Let me say something. Once uh, Didi, CN Didi said, Lady Black is actually very logical. Just that uh, is my money is my money. Uh, her comment was off. <laughs> so you have a fan now. They said they liked what you said, but that my money is my money. <laughs> okay, continue. Yes, yeah, yes. So we, according to what the, um a lot of people started talking, now they are saying that now they, they backed it up with men being in power for so long, even in politics and everything, and how women have to fight for the right to vote, do everything. Now a lot of women now are saying, you know what? You guys are not providers anymore. You say you want an independent woman. You can have an independent woman. You say that, ah, that is too much. Now you get a woman that is willing to be a stay-at-home wife. You say that she's not contributing. So what do you men want? So I'm not saying that um, is the man, is the woman. But, to, but if we look at it in another perspective, I think for, a, for you as a king to let your leadership to let your wife as a king, because that's what the man is, is signifies in marriage, mm -hmm. as a king, to let your queen, to let your prince and princess out of your house while you're still alive. It's a, it, it's a big time red so, flag. And so, so, the, so the, the man is responsible more for failed marriage. I, I, I will say that. Lady being the fact that men are supposed to. And I will still provide if try things for you. It's called love. You can't. Mm, okay. So the man to you, the gender that is responsible for failed marriages is the man, not the woman. Like I said, I did not say not the woman. Because of the way society see men as and the way men see themselves as we can cheat, we can do anything, we can do whatever we want to do. Is the woman that has to do this, is the woman that has to do this, is the woman that has to clean, cook, do everything, still work. Do you think so about what they are doing? Has to fail to you. What is that thing the man has to do? If a marriage has to fail uh, to me, uh, for you, what as in if you have to leave a marriage, what is that thing that a man has to do? For me, cheating and lies is a deal breaker. For me, cheating and breaker. For me, you were breaking. I didn't hear you. Sorry, ma. Yes, yeah, someone was calling. Okay. For me, cheating and lies they are deal breaker. 
and not supporting. Meaning for me, I believe marriage is team, partnership. This one that they say, my money is your money, your money is my money. At the end of the day, we are coming into one household. That is how I think. We are coming into one household. Now we can have what they call, we can have what they call, um, we can have what they call um, joint accounts where all our bills goes into that joint account. Then I can also have my personal account. Okay. So my, my personal account is whatever, after the bills are being paid and everything, that money stays with me. That is my own money. I believe in helping. I believe in partnership. I don't believe one person has to carry everything on his head. Now, yeah. the thing is, if I don't have to ask you, babe, I need money for shop rent. I need this for this. It means that you have to take care of your own responsibility while also take care of my own responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we are coming together as one. The two shall become one. When to the when we are when we are both a union, and then we are we already we already say, oh, your money is your money, my money is my money. This this this. There's already division. There is already a cause for division because it says united we stand, divided we fall. So this is yours. This is mine. This is yours. This is mine. That already cause for division. So, so you're saying that if you're working now, you can put all money in one account with if, your husband, right? First of all, definitely. You have some men that they are but very, very not. supportive. If it's not, I just I will I will help him with the bills that needs to be paid. Whatever our agreement is when it comes to sharing bills, I will help with that and then keep my money. That's it. Okay, so what's your definition of a real man? Supposed to say I'm a real man, I'm not a real man. I've been seeing that thing. So what's to you, what is a real man? Your own definition. Me? Yeah. Okay, ma. So my definition of a real man is a man that supports... When play, leave us alone. <laughs> the uh, man that... in love now. I can hear you. What's your definition of, uh, what's your definition of a real my man? My definition of a real man is a man that supports his wife. Not a, not someone that say, or oh, anything that my wife... When you, when you start, if they give you kayamata or something... You support your wife in growth. You're Dr. not intimidated. Said a real man is the man that can use his head. Please answer your real man is. Stop. Please answer your real man is Ben Flynn. No, go ahead, go ahead, sit down. So I can hear you. Um, every man is a man that can support his wife to her full potential. You are not intimidated by her success. You are not. You are not. Mm. You are not um hiding her and saying, "Oh, you cannot do this. You cannot do that." A real man is a man that that. To me, every man is a man that wakes up in the middle of the night and says, babe, we have to pray. Because that means that you you govern your house, you cover your house with the blood of Jesus. You understand? We are always praying together. We are always intertwining together. And we put the Holy Spirit, we put God first in everything that we do. Every man is not someone that just goes to club and then we come back around 3 a.m. And then you say, yeah, open your leg. Every man. No? So, to me, that's a real man. For me, that's a real man. A real man is someone that was okay. You know what? So a man that's how much club, I need. It's not a real man, right? For me, no. I don't go to club. I don't go to club. And also, I think my number one pet piece about a real man is the friend he follows, the association he keeps. Let me know the type of person that you are. If you have friends that all the like a lot of men that commented on the last post. I was reading their stuff and I was commenting too. I was also passing my own comment and whatever. Because for me, I feel like if as a man or as a boy, that maybe majority of them are, which hopefully one day they turn out to become a man one day, and then they are thinking like this so as a boy. Few most and, of the people on my comment session are boys, not men, not real men. Not all of them, man. Some of them. That the fact that you can say that it's okay for a woman, for a man to be cheating, knowing fully where that um, this, um, um is not a real man. No. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm not, I'm not I don't want your trouble names. here. I'm not so, giving names, but so uh, officially, then, uh, uh, what is your own definition of a real man? For me, a real man is a man who stands up for the right thing. Mm -hmm. Take care of your territory. Be responsible for your actions. Take charge of your family. Be who you are. That is how I see a real man. Conquer your territory and take charge of it. 
That is how I see it with real man. Because this is what we have now is, is boys. Unbreakable said I'm not a real man. What we have, might, have these days. Is right? Nobody can know him more than himself. Ah, thank you. You said a, a, a real man is bold to take care of his, his responsibilities and take charge of his family, community, whatever he's, that is under his care. But the ones who have it is now uh, are boys, not, not men. They do what they like and then they expect you as a woman to respect them and submit to them where they leave their responsibilities for you as a woman to take care of. I remember in those days when, when men talk, you hear their voice, you start even saying them, you respect them. But these days, they look at your face, they talk, you don't even care if a man is talking or, or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Um, ben Flair said, a real man um, is somebody, uh, um, a real man, a real man is someone who stands by your side, front, back, and and you know side and everything okay so now i'm just gonna say um tango she also mentioned something about support i was gonna say the, what the woman has to do the woman supports your husband's dreams and aspiration support is gold i i told somebody i said you can if that is her definition of a real man i'm not after a while <laughs> if that is a, her, her definition of a real man i'm not um so <laughs> okay so the woman supports your husband's goals and aspiration is another part we're talking about okay let me see i think i have a request um okay i'm accepting you mercy have i accepted you uh hold on. Done. Yeah, i think i've accepted you God bless you. Hi, good afternoon, you? everybody. <laughs> good afternoon, Mama. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so I support. So I say that um, in marriage, once you get married, the woman submits. It means his goals became the priority, not yours. Seriously. If your husband has a dream and you have a dream, support his own first. If they have to put, okay, which one should go first? My own dream or your own? You, the woman, sit back and support his own first. When he achieves his own, you guys can come back and work on your own. So support his dreams and support his aspiration. Hebrews 13 verses 4, marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed should be kept pure. For God will judge the adulterers and the sexually immoral. So have you guys heard? So those of you that are saying adultery or our forefathers, see what God is saying that the marriage bed should be kept so before I continue this, let me even say it now. Please, if you've been joining me, support this program. I'm not doing money go money go. I don't even know how to do it yet. So I'll tell somebody to have to search so I can buy. Support me. And you know the funny thing is, we have millionaires on this platform. Oh, they are here. I will not yes. mention their names. Yes, so. <laughs> she said yes, so all of you. <laughs> there is have uh, Transformation Ministries, um, Information Trans Transformation Ministry put there is pinned, you know. I have my um, Zelle, I have my um, whatever Cash App, I have my PayPal. If you need more how to send, support this is a ministry. So support me, support me. There are bills to be paid. One, one of my sons here yeah, said, Mama, the day I decide to support you, eh, you said you see your life change. Please change the life now. All the millennials in this platform, change it now. Don't wait for the day. Start now. That's procrastination. Yeah. Start now and support the ministry, and see how God will bless you. Because the next time now, with the call on our name, one by one, I'll put my phone up. I'll say, yeah, support, I'll show the whole world. Unbreakable said, a woman doesn't know what a man is. Likewise, can I say what a woman is? Expectation is the beginning of failure. Yeah, you're right. Expectation, no, you're not right, though. Mm. I don't support that. No, I don't support you. So, let's go. Hebrews 13, 14, 14, 14. Bible said that marriage bed should be honored and should not be what impure. He said God will judge all the adulterers. So all the women and the men. See, the woman's adultery, I feel, is more than adultery. If a woman cheats, I feel there's this thing that is more than adultery in a woman's cheating. I mean, to me, it's the cause. Because um, there are so many spiritual implications for a woman cheating than a man cheating. Uh, 
Do you agree with me? Uh, uh, Mercy. Do you agree with me that when a woman cheats, there is more implication spiritually than a man cheating? I would say I disagree, and I would say I agree because we both are going to answer to God on the same level when we stand before God. It's only human beings. We it's human beings that place um, categories to all these things. When we talk about spiritual things, especially things like this, everybody wants such a need when they stand before God. So if you cheat and the man cheats, you will see answer the same question God is going to ask. That's where me I'm coming from. Now, when it comes to being on earth and physical things, there are consequences that a man will bear and consequences a woman will bear. So that's why it's not, it's not now the same thing. Now, a woman's cheating, like they usually say, and it's true, women will cheat, but before they get to that point, know that they have fought a lot of things before they now start decide to cheat. But a man can randomly wake up and cheat and tell his wife that he loves her, which is the truth. But when it comes to women, because we overthink, we are uh, uh, we we are thinkers. We are we all we overthink things. We rush. We try to rationalize things. Uh, okay, or we try to consider a lot of things before we now say, okay, you know what? Let me hit the streets. Mm. Okay. So the consequences of that action that we do is usually more. Is usually more. And yes. um, but having said that, when a man cheats and exposes his family like that. Somebody said, my, my lie to cause said, apart from spiritual implication, the result of a cheat, of the cheating of a woman, um, cheating is destructive. That when a woman cheats, the result is more destructive. It is. Yeah, I know a man. That's what I'm saying. It is. But when a man cheats, it's generational. I have a friend presently who have, what her father did years ago, is affecting them and children that they've given birth to mm. because of uh, 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 she's from a polygamous home and other wives they had. In fact, I know two people in that situation right now. So when men cheat, they think it's, oh, I can, uh, it's not that much, but when a woman cheats, no, both of them have different consequences that they, that they face and how it affects family and people around them. I want time to cancel a family, both the wife and mm. the woman. And one of the things that um led to this counseling is because the woman alleged that the man is cheating with everything he sees so i had to you know when we started a counseling session um i had to allow the both of them speak and in the midst of talking the woman now said i am saying this because ma, from now henceforth i'll start cheating the man now shouted ah you want me to down so, you so, so i was like what do you mean he said yes that when the woman cheats the man dies on time because they cannot take what the woman is they can, they, they that the man would die on time. I said, is it in your tradition or something? He said, it is tra traditional. It is customary that, that when a woman cheats, he said, I mean, I, I cheat, but I take care of myself, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but that if, that if the day my wife starts cheating, I'll die on time. That no. Then, and that, and that's okay. If your wife is saying that this is it, why you not stop the cheating? Mm -hmm. You know that if you cheat back, you will die on time. Mm -hmm. So you know the, the that counseling session was very funny, but I just remember that thing out of a lot of you know a lot of things that he said. And I began to read deep and pray deep, and I know that yes. Um, um what am I saying this? Um most, most women should not retaliate their husband's action. Don't retaliate your husband's action. I'm telling you. No, no, why are you keeping your mouth like that? <laughs> Wait. Why are you... Oh, God. <laughs> I said, don't retaliate your husband's action. Like you kept your mouth like we were saying, um, you know, something. No, don't retaliate. See, the Bible has not told us that cheats back when the man cheats. And let me tell you the funny thing about the Bible. The Bible told us that the grounds... Jesus was the one saying it, that the grounds for divorce, except for what? Adultery. Then... There is grounds for divorce. But guess what he said next after that? He said that whosoever marries the woman that is divorced commits adultery. But you, the woman, if you marry somebody else, you commit adultery. So he's saying that even if you have left your husband for adultery, you go and marry somebody else, you are committing adultery. I have been looking for clarity to that portion of the Bible. I've not gotten. And I'm asking, I said, okay, Jesus, 
Jesus. If you say that, except for divorce, can one separate? He didn't even say the woman should separate. He said the man who, if you want to be fair, if you want to read deeply, they were asking him question about the woman, and he said for divorce, can the man separate? But now we are saying it that, yes, it's both man and woman. The Bible did not tell you to leave your husband if, he's, if he cheats on you. No. The Bible has not told you, the woman, that leave your husband for divorce. He was even talking about the man. Leave your wife if she if she commits adultery. He didn't say the woman, leave your husband. Yes, let's read it, I know. But we are saying that this commandment should go both, both ways. Jesus did not put it both ways. But we are saying it is both ways or it should go both ways. And the Bible also came down and said, whoever sleeps or marries the woman that has been divorced, she still commits adultery. And that man still is committing adultery. So this divorce thing does not favor the woman. In and addition to that, Mama, something. I want yes. to say something to what you said. Also remember that the Bible was written at a time where there were certain traditions and um, um, custom. Yes. Now, when if that's why if you read if you have the real King James Bible, things mm -hmm. that God said was printed in red, mm -hmm. things that were said by men. Yes, that's printed I, mean. I use it. I use good news. Yes. There you go. Now, when that statement was made made in the time, I wish I could get the Bible verse right now. In the time of Moses, and they asked Jesus in the New Testament. Yes. Jesus said, in the beginning, it was not so. But because yes. of the hardness of, heart. of our heart, mm -hmm. God had to create a way or instruct uh, Moses to create a way that both parties don't suffer. Mm -hmm. now, back then, a woman cannot just walk out of her house. Mm -hmm. In the time of in the Old Testament, no matter what her husband does, she cannot walk out of that home. Yeah. Now, Moses now said, okay, for peace to reign, if you don't, if you say you want to be sleeping outside, you want to do whatever you want to do, let the woman go so that she can have peace and also live her life the way she wants to live it. You cannot eat your cake and have, and it. have it. You cannot do that. So there were customs that were already stated then in the time of uh, in the time of Moses or in the Old Testament that cannot function now. Was it correct then? Yes. But because times and seasons have changed. Is changed, but the word of God still remains the same. I I would I want people to balance that because some people say hey, David, like exactly they say Solomon married hundred wives. Go and marry hundred wives now. See as, see as good deal. No, I, I in, you know, I've always told them that in everything, let's also follow the biblical commands and that's, principles. That's what I'm saying. And morally, I'm gonna just say this now. Mm? If every woman has to leave their husband because they committed adultery or because the man cheated who have only 10% or 20% of women who will still be in their marriages. The only no, we're not saying that every woman should yes. leave. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm getting somewhere. Okay. The only difference is some has not caught their husband and some has actually seen it on uh, they've caught their husband. And one moral thing I'm going to tell us is, if you find out that your husband is cheating on you, the wife, that is not the time to question your husband it is not the time to query your husband. Instead, it's the time to love the man the more. <laughs> you people can decide to keep your face one place. I'm messy. I can't see your face in this line. Oh, I'm not seeing the whole of your face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I'm, I'm talking, I'm seeing everybody's expression. <laughs> and then you can keep your face the way you want to nod your head. You, know, you can do your head like this. Yes. Let me tell you. If your oh. husband is cheating, <laughs> Uh, 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 with uh, CEO Angel Bless, I totally disagree with you. Yes, that's why we're having this. You don't have to, you know, agree with me, but I'm just telling you the truth. Now, feminist fool here, prophetess. I know that's why they are shaking their head, though. <laughs> if you want to come on live, let me drop one. No, we are not feminists. No, we are not feminists. Yes. <laughs> if your husband is cheating, you the wife, that is when don't question him. That is what. When there is, that is why there is pandemic of single mothers law. You see, yes. If your husband is cheating, he's not when to fight him. He's not when to question him. Yes, that is when you should love your husband even the more. You should intensify the things that you were not doing or you were even doing 
intensify the good things you've been doing. That is when to bring strategic idea. Make sure that the advice you're giving that man is bigger than what he should. How do I say it? Carry yourself, present yourself in a way that he doesn't see that side cheating you. Because you know why? If you let your husband know you know he's cheating, you have given him the gateway to continue to cheat. Yes. If your husband finds out, Mama, what is it? Why? Uh, Mama, what if he is unrepentant? You should keep loving him. Keep loving him. That is what the Bible has said. Even if your husband is unrepentant from cheating. Yes. Let me even. Yes. Keep loving your husband. I'm sure. Let me do like this, right? This, this, this place can, so that they can see me very well. Yes. Even if your husband, sorry, oh, I can't scatter this place. Even if your husband is unrepentant from cheating, yes, keep loving him. The Bible did not say stop loving him. I'm in the health field, I'm in, I'm in the health field and in a profession, I have seen how men carelessly have destroyed a lot of good women health. Please let people make decisions on their own and do what works for them. Yes, it's true. It's okay to do what works for you. But if you're asking for my, I've been in this thing for a long, a long time, and let me tell you the truth. You can only change somebody by changing yourself. Yes. You can only change somebody by the changes you begin to make for yourself. Why I'm saying this is, the last time I told you guys, if you're not ready to leave the marriage, be strategized in the marriage. Accept your resolution is I'm leaving. That's okay on the grounds of, of infidelity. It's okay. But if you're not, be strategize yourself. Change you. Begin to do things that will make him come back home. Because if you continue to nag, you're pushing him more to the hands of the girlfriend. A particular woman showed me a text message, you know, during a counseling session. She said she had an issue with her husband. And as they were talking, the husband before her called the girlfriend they were having issues about. Let's say we are quarreling because of this person. And you see, call that woman in front of your wife and say, I, 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 you know, the, the, the woman said, I didn't really hear what he was saying, but I knew that my husband entered the car and left. That why, when I even knew that it was that same woman he called, it was that the woman now sent me a text message that say, you have succeeded in, you have succeeded in pursuing the man out of the house. He is coming to me now. That is what side chick sent somebody's wife in the house. Of course. No. The woman may, m must have either called that side chick before or taken the number from the, you know, the side chick must have taken the number. Most side chicks know their husbands. Um, most side chicks know the wives, uh, they are, you know, the people, they know their wife, they know the numbers, you know, they know the numbers. So I don't no. know how she got it. You know, maybe she got it from the husband's phone or maybe this woman said, don't call him before because the way she was talking to me, you understand that they have had a confrontation before. So I knew, okay. So she had a number. The woman tested her and said, you have succeeded in pursuing him from the house. Do you know how hot that was for this woman? That, oh, would they even fight against this person? No vex, no go fit. I am still inside, but I can't just love him again. We're in a loveless marriage. Uh, access, uh, uh, <laughs> accessible accessory said that she cannot, that uh, she, she cannot, you know, if she's still in that marriage, she cannot um, love the man. She needs to be discouraged on both sides. Yes, my dear, that's what we're doing. We have discouraged it. We are not supporting it. But I'm just trying to tell you, if it happens, you will not. If you're not leaving your marriage, strategize like this. Love him the more. Give him more attention. If you make your husband discover that you know he has a particular girlfriend, you are pushed into that girlfriend. Most men, their their brains are wired. Men are not smart like the women. Yes, men are not as smart as the women. I'm telling you the truth. There's how the man's brain is wired. I, mean, I don't even know why God wired it like, too, like that too. Because some men I have spoken to, the way they talk to you, you feel like, ah, this one, they, they follow somewhere. The way they, they, they hold on to you. Yeah. Mama, let me answer that. One minute. Disrespecting me. Let me answer that. So let me answer that question. That's a big said. deal. You let me answer to. the question you said. But I'm quickly before you before you move. No, hold on. Let me not forget what I'm saying. Why are just let, let, no, hold on. Let me. I don't want to forget what I'm saying. So the the oh you just so the woman the the way the men are wired. If you continue to nag on the man that is cheating, you continue to push him out, push him out. So if you want to keep 
make your marriage, re strategize, invest on yourself, start to change. If you used to shout before, don't shout. If you don't used to call him before, call him 10 times a day. Tell him how much you love him. Visit him randomly at work. But if it's the, the husband will, will be saying, I could not head, book me for counseling, and I'll tell you what to do. This one is just a general advice. What do you want to say about uh, why we're wired? Uh, I've been on we are wired. Okay. Men are wired. Men are wired to be focused forward. Women are wired to be fo to be focused side by side. We can see vast. Men see one way. Now, the reason why God made it like that is because he knew from the beginning that a man will need help. That was why he attached a woman with that. And attaching a woman with that, he gave her more capacity. Now, that, even though the Bible says we are weaker vessels, people think that it's physical weakness. No. Because we can see vast and men see forward, he needs somebody that can see his sides when he's looking forward. That's why one of the reasons why women, God wired us the way. And we, because we women, but when we see something, we have done, done all the calculation to the end. That is why a man will meet a woman or a woman will be attracted to a man. And by the time the man come and say, hello, she has planned wedding in her head. Planned wedding, she has even put, she has even born two children in her head for that man because she admires him. So because God gave us that full capacity, that's why he wired us that way. Because we see everything. We walk like the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. We see the end. And then we come back and now start walking through the process from mm. the beginning. All right. No, no, no. What do you have to say? You wanted okay. to say something while I was talking, when I said so, support the man when he's cheating. Okay. Let me hear you. Let me upset him now. Then I'll hear you. You have another device that is watching. Okay. So now I have a question. You as a woman, as a woman, if you find out that your husband is 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 is, is committing adultery left and right, can you pray for him? Why? Oh God, your, your audio is so bad. Okay, you your husband is cheating. Can you pray for him to stop if he's randomly committing adultery? I'm talking to you, Stanena. Uh, um, do you know what it means to cheat? Mm. It is the worst engagement ever. Oh my God. Okay, what would you um 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 USM logic? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have a I have two quick stories, very, very quick and brief. And why I talked about open marriage. There are two one is the Nigerian, the other I think she's American. Mm -hmm. There are two different couples. Now the Nigerian couple, I believe they live in Houston. The husband was a chronic cheat and she kept warning this guy. Stop, stop, stop. He didn't listen. So the lady said, 
I'm not going to leave my home because I think they put, you know, in America, once you get married and then you buy a house together, if you guys divorce and everything. So she said, I'm not going to leave my home because I did not sign up for polygamous relationship. So therefore, I'm not going to leave my home. What we're going to do is since we have upstairs and downstairs, you choose where you want to stay. Do you want to stay up or do you want to stay down? So the, I think the husband decided, okay, he's going to stay upstairs. You should take the down floor. And the agreement was, do you, I do me. Nobody should because I want my kids to be in the same home. Wow. Since you've decided what you want to do, proceed and do it. Mind you, man. The man wow. said, okay, the man was bringing his woman home, wow. doing whatever he wants wow. to do. Yes, ma'am. Now, this woman, now, this one thing about open relationship, when a woman decides to cheat, if you notice, she doesn't Ooh. sleep with everybody. She finds one good person to do it with. Yeah. That's what people don't understand. Exactly. Now, what this woman did was, she ended up finding a good guy. She told the guy what was going on and everything. The guy said, okay, no problem. The guy was studying her and everything. Long story short, this woman was dressing good. This woman used to look she was looking good. She was doing everything that she could do because now she's in the market. Mind yeah. you, as husband and wife, you are supposed to continue dating your wife even while married. You don't just stop dating because of you married her. So this woman yeah. was looking good. She's in the market. She's doing good. She's taking care of her kids. They're both taking care of the kids. So the guy finally proposed to the wife of the other man. Oh, and, wow. Yes, ma'am, he did. And he says, you know what? I know that this is a situation. And someone asked him, uh -uh, this woman is under another man. She's doing this. He said, because now she, she um, he knows what to expect if he ever tries to cheat Try on her. This. There you go. Wow. Yes, ma'am. When the man find out, the man went to pastor, call pastor, call all counseling departments that he does not want a broken home. Mm. That he uh -uh. should please. Yes. That they should, they should, that they should please talk to her. That is ready to change. Is ready to do everything. This is a Nigerian couple. Another couple is the the, wow. the American. The husband who was a chronic cheat. Do you understand? He was a chronic cheat and everything. I think the woman, like you said, she prayed. She did everything. It's not working. So she now told the husband. She said, "You know what? Since that's the life you choose to live, I don't think I deserve to be in bondage." Do you, I do me. I don't want to be a single mother. I don't want to. I don't want to be passing from one person to the other person. So the agreement was still, they now draw out a calendar. The days, okay, if you are with this person, just let me know who you think that you are doing it with. Use protection. Let me know the person. Uh, whenever you are, whatever you are doing, just let me know that, okay, you're going to be sleeping at social place and I will have the kids. And this calendar days are my days. Whenever I have any boyfriend or maybe I find a, I find another person I like, oh, let me know. Marriage. So that was the agreement. So this guy was enjoying his own. No, he was doing it perfectly. Uh. Then the wife now, and he now, she now find a good man. This man is good in bed. He's good in everything. He wants the best. He buys her clothes. He cherishes her. He takes her out on dates. So this woman now said that, okay, the meds and everything. So she now uh. told the, her husband, she said, see, I found the guy. He likes me, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. On social dates, me and this guy, we're going to have dates. Guess what, man? When the guy knows that this guy has dates, he will not come home. So that you stay at home with the So that you stay at home. He will not come to the house. It's so smart. what this it's girl now did was, she now find a, a babysitter to, yeah. to keep the kids. So she was now going out to meet the other guy. The guy was spending on her. He was making her happy. So um, I think one, and according to what she said in her story, she said that the guy has not, her husband didn't touch her for like six months or seven months because mm -hmm. he was having intimacy outside. Mm -hmm. So one, one day he, he, he had something with her and then he realized that, number one, her sex life has really improved. There you go. Her sex life improved. She's looking there good. Go. She's smelling nice. The guy, the guy, she's joyful. This woman that used to be depressed. Mm. So he now asked her, he now said, so the girl now said, you know what? I find someone and I really like him. You know what? I think in as much as me and this guy we've been dating her for six months, the guy here, the guy was like, wait, so how have you been seeing this guy? And she said, I've been dropping the kiss with a nanny. Mm -hmm. The guy's head mm -hmm. The guy was like, you know what? You know, he was like, what is going on? As if somebody caught his oxygen. He was begging. He was also begging and asking for I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I did this to you. I'm sorry I did that to you. Let's try and make it work. I don't want to lose my home. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. 
the thing with open marriage, what men don't play, understand. Stop it. Please, eh? let him pick. I love the way you speak. I'll, I'll, I'll stop commenting and just admire the God perfect work. What, people, what people do not understand is not is the fact that a woman stepped out of her marriage, she must have given you warning. How can a woman come into your life? Mm -hmm. She should look better than the way she came, not yeah. looking haggard. Now, you, you claim that, oh, she's not taking care of herself. Are you giving her money? Are you taking her to spa? Are you saying, okay, no, babe, don't do anything. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me, let me, let me be the one to take care of you. Let me give you princess treatment. You said, that, oh, yeah, after you give, after you give him birth, you, 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 you had it weight. But you forget the fact that this person sacrificed her womb. So you're not to, joining. I don't to know. To bring you children. To now, one thing, join. one thing people do not understand, men especially, is that when a woman have a child or she's pregnant, something in her dies for her to for create another being. For her to give you a child, for her to give you a generation. And then for you to say that, oh, eh, you're not looking good. You know, your attitude is this, your attitude is that. The, the most important thing is before a man and a woman get, get to the fact that they're getting to an altar, the both of you have to have an agreement. <laughs> I did not sign enough for a polygamous relationship, so I should not be forced to. Like she rightly say, it's a bridge of contract. I should oh, not be I have, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. So if you discover that you are married, and behind you, your husband, somebody said, alpha male don't land, though. <laughs> why are they calling a uh, break of alpha male? Oh, break up, why are you wearing a uh, camouflage now? Are you army? <laughs> we are for war. This is war now. We are here to fight. We are... No, <laughs> no, we don't want to fight. We are going to fight that war, I, I beg. Hey, <laughs> uh, let me start by addressing the lady of Wait, wait, yeah. wait. I'm yeah. not going to see your face, Seth. This, you have I'm to... driving. I have to put it down a little bit. I'm just okay. sorry. Okay. Yes, let, me, let, me let, me let me answer her the question before you say this. Thing. This is not work. You went and walk on my flag and say today is work. Stop this thing that you're doing, though. <laughs> my place said, no attack my babe, <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. What would oh, I not say on this place? My play, your babe got to, your babe got to talk. I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, uh, the platform here is to talk and is to and is to is share. Please, please not, no disrespect, please. I, I don't know how to tell him to shut up, but okay. please, no disrespect. Wait, let me let me ask you the question. Um, the question here is, if you find out, because I've had couples who, uh, when I was, there's a program I was doing in church, and I have to have people talk. Mm -hmm. And a particular woman in her 60, in her almost nearly 70s, said she's, she's been unable to forgive her husband, but she remained um, in the marriage because the man impregnated somebody. Now, that is, in, you know, impregnated somebody. I will ask Unbreakable that question, but you, the one I want to ask you, if you discover that your husband went behind you, got somebody else pregnant and got married to them and did not tell you, and then you find out through another medium, Will you leave the marriage? If there's one thing I'm very good at is investigation. So when when I Maybe hear I something, if it's because you left, that's why it's not letting me add you again. When I hear that's something, I, I'm going to investigate to make sure it's true. Now, when I if I find out mm -hmm. that he got someone pregnant and everything, that is it. I'm not even going to even come for you. We can go ahead and be with the person. I'm not so gonna, not even if he got married, just getting another woman it, pregnant, you're going to leave the marriage. Can go ahead and be with the person. I did not sign up for that. No, because I know what my strength can take. Do you understand? Man? There are women that have killed their husband because of um, things that can be easily rectified. You understand? Yeah. Man? There are women that have poisoned their husband. There are women that have poured acid on their husband. Why should I take it to that extent? I knew what I can. I know what I can handle. And when me and you were going to courtship, I communicated that with you. I let you understand that this is the type of lifestyle I want. We were in agreement before we went to the altar. So now you cannot come and say because you're a man. Now you, you now change all the plans. Because now, like the other lady said, women are... Don't forced. poison me, Sha. Are you going to cheat on her and have a baby outside? So you see, some men are already scared. Oh. So, you see how... No, I'm not it's saying that that's what I'm going to do. I'm saying that in general, a lot of women that are supposed to exit 
Now, yeah. a lot of women are supposed to exit. If you know that you cannot handle something and then you find out something about your husband, why kill a life that you cannot give? If God had created everyone, why exit the marriage? Leave it. Let the question go. And if you notice, my majority of men that sleep around and cheat and leave a good woman, go and look at their life doing old age, not seeing home. Now, they want children that they never cater for. They, they will tell you, Nigerian men will tell you, eh, 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 don't worry, when the child grow up, you will know the papa. Now, mm. you later on, they will start preaching, Andy, where is your father? You, there's nothing you can do. But you, you forget the fact that these children, were, they were not asked to be born. You and the mother made an agreement. Now, okay, oh, if I'm a guy, if I'm dating a guy, that I know that, okay, this guy is polygamous in nature. There are some women that like men. If a woman like you, I, I thought they married them. Wait, oh, he, you oh, oh, you he, I like, but say you have the sense of doing harm. You can't yourself. rush me. Oh, he's stupid. Let, let me tell you. Let, let me, me even say this thing, because we are just, I'm <laughs> not, I'm just being on the good side, because last week, so many men called me. Mama, last week, you know, try you, uh -uh, you supported the women, you let us down. Uh, so okay. many of them were calling me oh, and saying, but, but the, let me just tell you, any man that goes out and sleep to another woman with another woman without condom, to the point of even getting that woman pregnant, has already harmed his wife in the house. Yes. So why are we not talking about the first, um, how do I say that thing? The first, um, the first way to commit the first crime. How do I say it? You, you're the one that committed the first crime, and now you're thinking and you're judging the other person's response to your own offense. You are the first offender now. And you're now judging the other person's offense, you know, and, you know, and, and what you think the other person can do or not. She just said it that if the husband um, gets somebody else's pregnant, she would leave the marriage outright because she does not want to stay in that marriage and do something that she is not supposed to do. Not all Nigerian men abandon their kids. Okay. Unbreakable, can you position your, your camera a little bit so that uh, we can see you? And what do you want to say? Um, I want to tackle some things that this lady, this particular lady said. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. First of all, I don't believe as a woman, you should know what a man is. Because you can never know. You cannot be on the sideline and tell me you know what a man should be like. That is number one. That is the expectation of your own man. Some men go to the club not to chase women. Some men go to the club to relax. Official oh, Mercy, I don't know. I'm not I'm not, I'm not accepting you. So, um, some men so go to the club to, to relax, join. to listen to music, to get away from abusive spouse. They're not all there trying to chase women. Some of them go there to talk business and know what is going out there in the world. That is number one. So if you think all men are saying... Well, Tioma... Sorry, Tioma who was here, 37, said, somebody like me, I will poison that man. So the best, so it's best to leave the marriage thing. You know, you see, so women are telling you their mind. She said it bizarre, she'll that poison is, the man if she stays. That is but more, um, uh, it's best to leave the marriage. So you don't go uh, crazy and do something. Number two, two, she was pointing out how men are cheating. She gave two examples of the African family and the African-American family. But the Why? cheating can happen open relationship. Yes. If you go on if you go on social media, you will find a Nigerian woman who cheated on her husband with an American man. And the man caught them in the way they were talking and exchanging, having fun. And the excuse the woman made was that she said, Well, oh, you're not, you know, you're not performing, you're not doing anything. I'm here with this man because he gives me money. That is a married woman. So let's not use examples like that in, in, in situations like this. I do not support or condote it in any way, but if it actually happens, I believe in a union. If you have emotional connection, forgiveness should come easily. But um, as you guys have said, the, the bad I'm thing about me, uh, um, well, Unbreakable is that I'm not seeing you. I'm only seeing your hand and, and all. Yeah, you I think... It's, it's better now, yes. Okay. So if, if if we are talking about marriage, like you all said, marriage is an institution <laughs> which we can never graduate from. I believe See, you guys you're are, making her blush. You look at how she's smiling. You guys are emotionally, if you guys are emotionally connected, I believe forgiveness should come easy. Okay? It's only women that are scorned, women okay. that have high expectations, 
women that think a certain type of way that life is supposed to be like this. Okay, life you just talk about forgiveness that when the man is committing uh, adultery, the woman should forgive you. I want to ask you now, Unbreakable, yes, yeah, yeah. if yeah. you find out that your wife is sleeping out, would you call her and forgive her? This is the thing. I would be hurt as a human being if my wife is cheating on me, right? The question is, what am I doing? You understand? I will try to figure out what I'm doing and try to see how we can make it work. You understand? That is Okay, me. so if your wife I is know, on you, you will not leave her? It depends. It depends. If it's my ex-wife, I will leave. You understand? But if it's somebody... Which one is if it's your ex-wife? I'm not even looking at Which one is if it's your ex-wife, you will leave? The reason I said it, if it's my ex-wife, I will leave is because the cheating will only add to part of the shit she has behavior that she came with, which I don't want to really go into. You understand, ma? So I would definitely yes. leave in that marriage. But to be honest, my wife never cheated on me. You understand? But I still left for my own reasons, for my safety. But that is for another day. Um, okay. Now, would you advise a woman? Now, let me ask you. I know you're a man. I want to see how fair you've been answering this question. If a woman's husband goes and have a child with somebody else behind yes. her and she finds her out, should she leave the man, the marriage? Well, to be honest with you, Prophet, based on the type of man that I am, the child is innocent. He gets mm -hmm. it, and the child needs both parents. Maybe the man she's left with was a one master. You know? Maybe, you know how women are wired, emotion everywhere. Believe that if it's a man, a real man, he should look beyond that. If the woman has good behavior, has promising characteristics, I believe it can be worked out. You understand? This life is not just straightforward. This life is for man. You understand? There's a lot of things we need to go and sit down and look. But some things you can, I know it hurts. It's very painful. It hurts as a human being. But you got to look beyond that and see all the things you guys have created together and built together. You look at, you know, the time you put inside. It's a child. A child is always a blessing. You know, that is me as a man. But if the woman is, is has nothing to offer me, you go carry the last side. Just be good. I don't, I don't want stress. But if you take account, accountability for your actions, and you are willing to accept your mistake, and we, you know, we talk things out. We attend therapy. You do. <laughs> sorry, you're doing I, uh, somebody it. said. Ben Flair said. Sorry, Ben Flair said. Um, unbreakable. Hold on. Ben Flair said. Uh, ben Flair said. I went to a birthday party yesterday. The celebrant had six of her boyfriends there present. I was shocked. <laughs> this is possible now. I sure this yeah, is made up story. It, 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 it happens, Mama. It happens because women will come on your panel, and you know how you put it. They'll be talking about their experience. If 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 men start to speak on their experience, if I open my mouth and tell you about my own experience, which I would never do because it's social media, you will hate all women. Are you getting me? Women are not even in any way perfect. They are not in any way, you know, something to write home about. There are some good women out there. And to those women that are good, put those to you. If you have been hurt, go and heal yourself. And when you get into a next relationship, those things you did not do in your previous marriage, try to do it and give you 100%. Don't carry your past trauma to another man. Are you getting me? That is the mistake we are all making in this game. Cheating, cheating, cheating. I keep saying it. To me, if you disrespect me, and you don't cheat. If you like to be faithful as Virgin Mary, and you don't give me what I want. You are not sympathetic. You are not empathetic. You are not kind. You are not generous. You are not. You don't spoil me. I will leave you. You are giving me headache. I will leave you. Is, is, but is the woman supposed to spoil will, the man, or the man is supposed to spoil mama, the woman? Mama, you you see, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. We don't, that's the thing we don't really want to talk about. <laughs> we don't know how to cook. I will leave you. If you go and start doing eba with cassava that they are eba with um, cabbage that are doing on uh, uh, TikTok. Or you are trying new, new, different. I will leave you. If, if, if you don't have anything to offer me mentally, I'm bringing up ideas. Everything that comes out of your mouth is negative. I will leave you. If I marry you and you are shouting, I will leave you. You understand? Because the game has been changed. The same way you have criteria. Unbreakable has its own criteria that I want in a woman. So most people, they talk all this. And before we, men will settle down and say, okay, she get bad mouth, she did this, do that. Now, uh, if you see... When I reach 70, I die. Woman will still go remarry. As a man, 
I'm more stressed than you. I have 99.9 problem. And you have just one. Cheating is your problem. Meanwhile, I'm thinking how I'm going to make the next million to provide for you. I'm thinking how to pay the bills and do all these things. And you are complaining. You're not making me happy. And I go out to, to find my happiness. And you're angry. You're telling me I will leave. My friend, pack your load and go. And that person is waiting to enter. And that woman is waiting to bear that. Go and look at what is happening in the world. Be square. Don't be happy to enter. Your man, they will do. Don't be another person. They enter. Look, people they drag all of them. So all these famous footballers, people with their money. If you go, another woman is ready to take your place. And if you think there is something better outside, I say go and check. Go and check. There is nothing. The street is militant when it comes to the dating day. So if you have a good man, hold on tight. Hold him tight. The ratio to man and woman is one man to about 20 women. If you go and read that same Bible you are using as reference, woman your age with age you expire I keep saying the reality is different from how we feel i know you guys are talking from emotion and you guys are strong hey my husband is number one you shouldn't even bring your husband cheating behavior on social media this is a red flag that means you can't hold in water if mama will not tell you i will tell you people it's wrong your husband cheats yes yeah, go drunk and inside house you understand you are using one Particular things that he did to classify a million of a million and one good things that he has done. I've never seen any any of you come out here and say, My husband bought me this, my husband did this, my husband covered me up when I did not have, my husband bought me with this. It's just the bad, bad, negative, negative thing. But I can come out and tell you a million and one thing that my ex did. So you think it wasn't bad, it just didn't work out. We were incompatible, we had different ideas, and that was it. You understand? Was she a bad person? I cannot say. Was she a good person? I cannot say. It's my business. When I'm going to social media, that's the one on my mouth. Wah! Oh, men, men are this, men are strong, men are that, men are... Come on now, when I better fight you, man. You guys better. Let us go and do some soul searching. Look at yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, what did I do wrong? Did I know how to use intonation? Maybe when I'm angry, instead of using the calm voice, like, okay, talk to me calmly. You are raising your voice as a man. Raising your voice, what do you expect? It's going to pass, come back at you with aggression. That is number one red flag that we need to go and learn. Communication skills. Empathy. Sometimes you want to use your emotions and, and, and jump on conclusion. You know they work like that. No, man, I'm supporting him. him. Oh. 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 See? No, 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 no. no. This is not about support. I'm talking to you. I understand. When the last time you came, you said a lot of things. And I see. And I'm not saying that you are strong. It's some things that you said you were right. Your, your, your kind of criteria is, your, you said that your ID breaker is cheating. It's okay. But what if I tell you that my ID breaker is food and you don't know how to cook? And I'm a good cook. If you're talking to me. And that is where, and that is is where a man and a woman differ. But See, who can you, give you, you the time. man, your deal breaker oh. in a marriage be cook with food? And because cooking. my mother nourishes me. If I don't eat, I will die with because of the stress outside. Food nourishes me. I want to so if your wife cannot cook, food. you leave her? I'm just telling you. Is that what you mean? You, it's an ideal breaker for me. I will not starve. I will not starve. Who will nourish my children? If you cannot cook, will I keep buying food outside to put in the fridge? That is extra expensive. I'm not, a, I'm not rich. I'm average. I'm managing myself. We cannot live like kings when we are actually peasants. Are you get me? So you cooking reduces the amount that we spend and we build. Inflation is happening in the United States. Are we going to be eating our food oh, today? That's the a little time? thing as cooking. You would leave it's your wife. Problem. It's, that is my ideal breaker. Now, you see how stupid it sounds? Cheating is a big thing to some people, I understand. Cooking is a big thing to me. Sex position is a big thing to me. Nagging is a big thing to me. Not listening to me is a big thing to me. Can sex position be a big thing to you? Those are I'm little things you, that can work out. What is my criteria now? Because we come out here and we talk what we want you, to say. And in some like if your wife cannot give you good sex positions, you will leave her. I, I come, okay, I come to the house every day. All you are giving me is missionary style. Am I on missionary journeys? Am I on missionary Johnny, you're not doing anything nice. You're not, you're, 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 not, you're not romantic. You're not touching my nipple. Do you know how it feels when you romance the nipple? You're not rubbing my head. Only, I'm telling you all those things. Let a man be vulnerable with his woman. But if we go outside, we keep our guard up. We come and want to keep our guard up. Complaining, complaining, complaining. You cannot tell me in that your marriage you were 100% perfect. Look me in the eye. Who never fuck up? Make you raise your hand up. Even myself fuck up for my marriage. You understand? If you don't fuck up, you lie. Everybody they fuck up, but no one come here and talk that you perfect. You do everything hundred percent. You a liar. You 
understand? How could they come down for these social media? You understand? See, there, there was no time that, if you notice, I was huh? talking in regards to to the question I was I'm, asked last week. I'm not talking right? about today. I'm not talking oh, about today. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going back to you, 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 you made you some understand? you made some points. You made marriage some is not how people are taking it. Over. You made some. It's not how people are taking it. Mean, you have said right. are just let, let, let me two flimsy things some, that can be fixed. Sometimes, my, sometimes my prophet says this is a mistake we men make. Sometimes a man just wants to be left alone. It does not mean he's angry. He just wants to be left alone. Maybe he gets four short number waiting for play. Bye bye, Jeb. We no come player. We lose five million. Leave him make it first. Make it calm down. You understand? Make it, sometimes he just wants to come home and relax. Now you not come with problem. You understand? Okay. People are Nigerian. Like I keep saying, hold on. You, you have your own time to talk and to express all these things, but you never did. That's number one thing. You don't. Sometimes you have to calm down. You come in there, sister. You understand? You don't need to keep going. You, you still want to be for the Don't, don't, I don't mean, direct us. Say whatever you want to say. You. I'm not it's not about, about being a man or being a woman. Listen, Just say whatever you want to say. Listen, it is. You have the, the platform. Use it. Say what you want to say. Don't come for me. Today, everything that came out of the women's mouth was favoring women. And when a man comes up to speak about a man, you people have problem. You people attack the personality. You people attack a lot of shit. And you people are not men. Saying well, this, so what makes you think this is the worst part of it. Uh, this is what you people don't even understand. You people will still give that to men. You people will give that to men. And if you people pass this ideology, you people think I mean, that's going to train our men well so they will not become people that is we are trying to avoid to be with. What women do, what women do to male child is that you people nourish and pamper them. You people don't give them the tools to face the world as it is because the world is bloody and deadly. Men don't need to be pampered all the time. Men need to, when they fall, you need to tell them, stand up by yourself. But women, based on the fact that you people are loving, you don't people not show your... You know why everybody likes, men like to blame women. Sister, you are aggressive or you might have issues. You people should stop it. This man now that came now and said all the things he said, no, no man is saying, ah, you are aggressive. It's somebody that has not said anything that is aggressive. You know the funny thing? Okay, you, you, you have, a, I'm trying to read what accessories I wrote. So there is women something that is only, said. The, women think that they should only be the center of the world. It's thing. Yes. The, like the, that. something that he said when, when, that I actually when, when, wanted to justify. Okay, I was going to address it. Address it. Address it. Address there was something it. I wanted to say that was, was going to justify what he was saying. Okay. Mama, in this society today, where can men be vulnerable? As a man, I, we get tired. I am tired. I, I, real life oppression, social media oppression. In my home, oppression. In my father's home, oppression. In my in-laws' home, problem. Where can a man be vulnerable? A man can do a million and one things right, but one thing is enough for you people to crucify the man. I am not Jesus. If you don't reach my 2024, men need to wake up and start speaking up for themselves. And that is my agenda. In, in, in multitude, in frustration, depression, go and check the number of People that have jumped out of out of Todd Milan Bridge or have been sniper in Nigeria are men. There are a lot of people doing jobs heavily and men. Which Come on, and said you're, which you're talking for can me. we go and touch today that will give us millions and thousands? We can look at one Nigerian girl on social media. But the men are sleeping with men now. They want to make money. How much? How much is woke up? The girl said fifty thousand short time, hundred thousand overnight. A woman. Nobody said nothing about that. You, you see a man that is doing cold cold or brick layer, a woman will tell you, I cannot be with that. But that is a legit talk. You don't see the potential in doing something clean. Make sure they calm down or make sure they calm down. This, you know, you know, you know, fair. It's not fair towards men. You push it, start talking good. The next time you come up, tell us the good things your husband did in the marriage. Apart from cheating. You know the funny part is you, you, um, you, you refuse me to talk. He made I'm some points. He made some points that I was okay. trying to, I was trying to actually. Um, yes, and I can't see your whole oh. face. Sorry, mama. Yeah. Yeah, he made some points. He talked about cooking, right? I remember, like, whenever I give an old story of my marriage to some people that I talk to, I give a old story. People are like me. Like, I've never seen a a woman so bitter, but still, you still have 
some, you still have some good thing to say about this person. Because regardless of anything, I'm only talking about what is based on the topic. Did yeah. I, I, were there days that I smiled? Yes. There was actually a time I was scrolling through my, through my picture and I, and I remember the day my, my ex-husband wore my bra and then put on my earring and I was laughing. Because that day it was it was kind of like making jokes and making me to laugh. When I got married, I did, I was not a good good cook, but he taught me how to cook. That you see, not leave like he said he's gonna leave. Flora perfume one uh, perfumery one said with his behavior on this life will tell you a lot. So he he taught me how to cook. He taught me how to cook, but where out of out of my relationship, there were a lot of tears than smiles a lot of tears a lot of things that i spoke to him about let's work this out now mind you man a lot of women don't live because of cheating that's even the funniest part a lot of women don't leave marriage because of cheating maltreatment yes maltreatment maltreatment is the reason why most women leave their marriage not even because of cheating my ex was cheating on me but i was still there but i was being maltreated my goals were were stepped upon so not a lot of women leave their husband because if you are, if whatever it is that you are doing outside, make sure that your outside activity is not you are not bringing it into your home. Meaning that your wife don't have that feeling. Okay, there was there was a woman that I heard a story in Nigeria. They said her husband was a crony thief. Like there was this like he normally cheats very very well. And then one day someone told her that your husband is cheating. You know, she said never never. What time does my husband have to cheat? I know the time he, he gets up from work. He provides for us. He does this. He does that. Only when she did her investigation, she realized this man was actually cheating. Hmm. And then they are like, "Oh, so what are you going to do?" She said, "She's not leaving the house for anybody because the man is fulfilling his responsibility. He opened a shop for her. He bought her parents' house. He bought her a house of her own. He's doing what he's supposed to do. If you are doing something, at least compensate your bad attitude with something good. Don't be doing something that is wrong and then." Expect that the woman is supposed to still stay with you if you are, you get, number one, you are cheating because no, no, that one is even a deal breaker. You, you can bring gonorrhea, you can bring stephanies. Someone was talking about a cough that if a man touch a cough, that uh, people can still clean it and drink from it. You don't know that mouth, mouth, if a, if a woman has epis and real like the, the, in, the injury is there and then you drink from it, this was. And then I don't know that this person drank from this cup. If I put it in my mouth, that is it. I contact it immediately. Okay. So you're saying that, eh, that if a man touch, you are, you are literally sleeping with another woman. That you are claiming that she's not a good woman because of she's not your wife. It makes sense. It's not making any sense. It's not, you are trying to justify cheating, but you're not, even, you're not even doing a good job at it. Cheating is wrong, whether we like it or not. But let's now assume that that's the profession that you now decide that you want to choose. Make sure that there is a way that you can compensate that. Many women do not live for cheating. That's what I do. I, I, that's about and you know, like what I told them, I said those days are when they are expecting our forefathers. It was those days, so it's not now again. Mm -hmm. Now is a different thing. Um, uh, the way our forefathers lived is not the way we are living. Things are now different, so men should do better. Our four, our four mothers did not work, but we are working now. They are expecting you to bring so many things on the table, and yes, they, you know, so we have to do better. Well, to just continue what I was about to say, because I'd like to round up this topic, even though I didn't have enough time to say certain things. In marriage as the woman, these are some of the things I want you to do. Do not bring the past argument. Never do it. Um, somebody like that. So don't be like me. I've changed. That's why I can tell you this. Anything that is in the past, don't, don't, don't introduce it in the present argument. Face this present argument. And you know why we do that? When we are losing the argument. You know, sometimes when issues just come out, you know you don't really have anything to say. I'm somebody now, uh, for example, if I have an argument with my husband, and I know that uh, in my mind now he's winning. You know, in this thing, I'm, it's me that cost it, you know? <laughs> I'm the, I, I just know the way he's talking. I miss it, I don't know. They guilty. I will now bring something five years ago. I say, eh, yes, I'm saying this because five years ago, see that thing in the hair. Now, now the memory, see, they make me talk now. No. Five years ago is in the past. 
if you know you're losing arguments, don't use that five years ago and talk about now because, of course, you're wrong and you don't want to accept you're wrong. You understand? So, yes, if yeah, somebody said, what if, it's, if it keeps happening? Then you can talk about it. You understand? And yes, you can talk about it in the argument. But I mean, like, let's say you're, you caught your husband with a girlfriend five years ago. And that girlfriend is no more existing in the marriage. And maybe now, you now catch him with another girlfriend. Yes, let me even say so. You now say, ah, that in Kechidazao, or you now caught him, maybe or something else. Then you now bring that five years ago and say, eh, hey, five years ago. Because you know that, okay, in this one now where you accuse her, maybe you not do it. You now say, hey, yes, I have to accuse him because five years ago. Don't bring the... I can't hear you. It's a mess. You're not talking. People should genuinely say they are sorry and change their ways. Thank you, CEO Angel Bless. Exactly. People should genuinely say they are sorry and change their ways. Yeah, so don't bring that past argument. Forgive him and let it go. Now, some people, when he is down, do not continue to fight or heed her. Some women, even when that man is down, okay, it's fine. He made a mistake. He's not paying for his mistakes. That is when you want to deal with him with his mistakes. He made a wrong decision at work, or, you know, or he, you caught him doing something. Okay, for example, now, uh, there are some women, let's say there are, there are some people that somebody else has come to disgrace their husband online, that their husband caught, they were caught cheating with somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, let's say you, somebody shows you a video of your husband or you read it online. That your husband was cheating with another woman. He don't sit down because at that point, he's disgraced online. Or even if it's not online, you know, a scenario whereby the man is at that point of his disgrace. Now, that is not the point for you to hit hard and fight more. That is the point. That is where he needs you to encourage him and to help him. But most women take that point where their husband is down as an avenue to hit more. Do not punch harder when your husband is down. Don't kill him. That is when he needs somebody to uphold him. If you if you are this person that watches this boxing, you you watch boxing. This is the last I'm just gonna briefly in this briefly and, and get up uh because we're almost we will pass time. This thing is one hour but we're almost getting two hours. If you watch boxer when they hit somebody and when that person is down, you, you cannot continue to box somebody when he's down. You cannot continue to hit somebody when he's down. You have to wait for him to get up again to continue the fight. If you box when the person is down, you'll be disqualified. So stop boxing. Stop hitting hard when your husband is down. Cushion your words towards your husband. You have helped somebody. Lady in pink, you're beautiful and smart, really. Like, hmm, hey, this love, this is not for here. So... Some people I'm a beg, allow me your to, words. Please allow me to ah uh, okay. you come and pay homage to you. I know. Yes. Oh. Okay, the guy is so tech me. So stay on that other. last video. He is so tech me. And the uncle will send hundred. Yes, change now. Is. So you seen a different light now. now. God is okay, giving uh okay, somebody oh a uh, blessed angel. I'm giving okay, giving fifty dollars each to both ladies as Mother's Day give. Oh my God. Uh, Somebody is going to give you guys 50 dollars and the anchor I will send 100 as Mother's oh. Day give. Please send, oh, send thank details. You. You see, thank these you. are the kind of, oh God. I, in short, if I'm not following you, I'm going to follow you now. I love you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank oh my God. You. Yeah. These are thoughtful women supporting. I am waiting for the men oh, to say I'm going to support the oh, Mother's Day gift to oh. Professor Eska has been here for you, uh, for you people for how many months? Yes. Support, support this ministry. We have a lot of things we need to do. In short, you know, I'm the first lady of a church. What do them yes. ministries? Yes. Support our ministry. We have so much things. We have... Okay, I'm going to even put it. There's a project that I want to do. I want to put a light screen on our church to make it beautiful when we are airing. If you know God has blessed you to support that, do it. I'm, I'm telling you, those who know me know that I'm associated with grace. You cannot bless me and be stranded. Mm. Do it, support us. Yeah. Okay, well, at least somebody here knows. Yeah. So I'm not going to talk too much. You cannot bless me and be stranded, though. Never. Yeah, yeah. So bless me. Bless our ministry, World Restaurant Ministries. Let's put this screen. So next time I can take a picture and put it online, see? And, and I appreciate everybody that does it. So God will bless us to do that. Mm -hmm. So the next thing I'm going to say is cushion your words. Don't let them be 
put out, even when the man is is wrong, cushioned your words. There is nothing like a brutal truth when you're talking to your husband. Nothing like a honest truth, a bitter truth, a brutal truth. No matter how truthful your that word are, let it not be brutal. Yeah. Let it not be a honest truth. Be sure, don't even be honest. If your honesty has to hurt that person so bad, cushion it. I'm going to use the boxers again and tell us. You see these boxers, when they are fighting, do they fight with their bare hands? No. Box no. Boxers. No. They cushion their hands. So even when there is a fight, even when you're on the ring with your husband, please put on those cushions. What I mean is don't hit too hard. Don't allow your words hit too hard. Sometimes those words are the things that are pushing the man deeply into those things. Yeah. You're saying you want to tell your husband the brutal truth. You already you mentioned it, it is brutal. Should your should be brutal to your spouse. So cushion those words that you use on your man. Some of us has used the worst kind of things to our husbands. It is wrong. A particular that woman told me that her husband no longer sleeps with her. I said, why? He said, after she insulted the husband, that he, he, he does not satisfy her. He still is, he, that he, he, according to her, she said, she told the husband that, you're busy flexing. Then your thing don't even feel satisfy me. It's not even, it's not even big enough for me. So since then, the man just, it's the brutal truth, she told him, Nabi. He's flexing. It's truth. He does not satisfy her. It's truth. And the thing is not satisfying her. It's not big enough to satisfy her. It's truth that she's saying. But guess what? How the she truth said she told the man was too brutal. It was too honest. So instead of changing the man and helping him, it's what? It's damaged the man mentally. Now the man does not make love to her because he does not know. She said it's not big enough to satisfy her. She said I'm not satisfying her. So, so some truth you say, you understand, heals the man. I know how many months of therapy I had to do on the both of them, of counseling. I say, come. I will also talk to your husband. As I say, from now henceforth, try and initiate sex. The day he makes love to you, if he comes out in one minute, if he not even last 30 seconds, please praise him. If the thing is not even entering you well, be shouting, oh, oh, like he wants to kill you on the bed. <laughs> he's doing it well, even if he's not doing it. That's why I told her. I said, shout, mourn, like, where are you going? Where are you learning this? You want to kill me or you want to kill me or use those words on him. Let the man feel his one killing you on bed. You understand? I said, use it. She said, okay. Because we have to bring back that man's confidence. The worst thing you can do to a man is to diminish his ego. Men, even when a man is wrong, he protects his ego. This is what I wanted the woman to do, to know. Even when a man is wrong, you see that ego, he is never wrong with it. He protects it with all his life. If you finish that man's ego, you will lose him. You would even lose him on the basis of he is wrong. Go and listen to Spiritual Battles in Marriages, the part two. I just posted it. I said, defeat the giant. Listen to one of the things I said there. Just, I, just, I won't even say what I said in that video. Go and watch it. Go and watch it. So protect the man's ego even when he's wrong. You see so many pastors who say they live or something. You see their wife come out and protect their ego. No matter what, we are not saying perfect. If you're waiting for a perfect, do you know, I'm not saying God is not perfect, but ask yourself, why did God not create woman when he created Adam? Why did he create all the animals and everything? Before he now remembered and said, okay, ah, this guy needs a, 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 a woman. Don't expect perfection from any man. He understand. Protect him. But she will be lying now. Um, somebody said, uh, um, I don't know what's, Oh, he said, but she'll be lying. Yes, lie to your husband on bed. I mean, in bed, lie to him. Because the last time you pursued him with your brutal truth, that is not. So now lie to him. Tell him he's the best. You know? Then um, honor your husband before your pastor. Yes. I honor your husband even before you honor your pastor. Listen to your husband even before you listen to your pastor. Pastor, except he gives you God ungodly advice then you'll be wise. But honor him more. Most men feel like their wives are honoring pastors more than them. It's not good though. And it's true. Before your, your pastor eats your money, it's before very your true. husband has eaten your money. It's very true. We men do that. Mm, you understand? When I started counseling, yeah, my husband is my pastor though in this aspect. 
So, but when I started counseling, when I started booking sessions for counseling, the first person I counseled, I paid everything to my husband. I said, Daddy, this is my first counseling, this thing. No, I'm paying it as a seat to, to you. I gave it to him. I didn't even have a dime from the first session I booked. You understand? I could have brought it to church and paid my tithe that, like I do. But this is, I was not giving it to my husband as my pastor. I was giving him as my husband, whom I honor. Daddy, this is my first counseling session. He was the one that had the money. He didn't eat the money as my pastor. He ate it as my husband. When I want to give money in church as my pastor, I come to front of the church and I pay my tithe and I give my seat. It is different. So yes, the women, let your husband, sometimes your first tithe, share it and give, make sure your husband eats from it. Honor him too. When you have something, give to your husband. You understand? Because your husband holds what? Uh, okay, um, I almost lost my husband. Okay, yeah, I'm going to tell you for the story. Before I got married, let me tell you. I was very involved in church in Nigeria. Now, my husband who has done everything for me was leaving the U.S. to come to Nigeria to get married to me. And to meet my parents. He had got a place, everything, like, we've made every arrangement. That week that he was coming, he was supposed to land Lagos on Friday, on a Friday. And I told him, look at me, we've planned, though. That week now, the end of the month, now was now also our night vigil. As a church girl, you know, and I told him, I said, ah, honey, I cannot come and meet you. I cannot, I was supposed to, of course, I was supposed to welcome this man in Lagos now. He's coming from the U.S., for the first time to meet me, we did not see each other. We have not seen each other. And I told him, I said, ah, honey, I'm sorry, yo. I cannot come this uh, Friday yo, because I have night vigil that I have to attend. After the night vigil, I would decide to travel maybe Saturday. Well, I was putting my my church, my pastor before my husband. For my righteousness. You understand? My husband said, ah, for over how many months we've been planning this visit? Mm -hmm. And now you're telling me that you cannot come and welcome me or you cannot come and meet me in Lagos. That you're the first person I want to see when I'm in Nigeria. What do you mean? I say, ah, I have to attend church. Oh, I have to, ah, I don't want Papa to look and I'm not come for night vigil. You know what I told me? So today we used to talk it. If you don't come to Lagos the same day I'm arriving in Lagos, anything where you see me, you take come home. If you come, you see me with another woman, take it. I agree. Nope. Oh, let me. I said, ah, ah. Oh, yes. You say, why me? I said, eh? Oh, so you have another girl, have you? You've been talking to more than one person. If not, how is that switch very easy? Because tell me how it can process that we'll be talking for about a year and you told me from the second week we were talking that you want to get married to me and now we've made a plan. You're coming to meet my parents and you're telling me you don't switch like that. Ah, is, that how, is, is that how easy it is to switch? He said, I'm just telling you, take it. Whatever you see, take it. Idea. And let me tell you, I'm also going to tell you, be careful of bad friends. I had a friend then, whom I now told what was happening in my in my in my in my relationship. She said, you know, then my I'm going to they call me like Fanny. Then say, ah, Fanny, don't go. Let me tell you, you you be model. You better people they look for you. You you find you you know book everything. Your full package. He say if you go now, that man would think that. Uh, you're the one that is wanting the relationship more than him. You know, don't let him see you finish. Oh, that's what she said. Don't let him see you finish. So because he said you should come, you want to come. Go to your church and go away. If I were even you, I would give him two, three weeks, five each Lagos. I, I demand ticket now just one month. I said I should give him two, three weeks, five each Lagos so that he will value you. This, will, this, this person is my best friend. I should, maybe she should watch this video. Can you imagine the house you were coming to tell me that that bad uh, bad advice is this man that, that rented the house <laughs> my food you were eating is this man that that was paying for the bills and the food and you said i can you'll be fine see don't listen to some friends so some friends want what you want so many people that come and tell you leave your marriage they want your marriage or they are not happy you're in the marriage that's why they are telling you to leave the marriage see how karma hits people back i did not listen to her because I'm not praying about it, suppose somebody and say, uh-uh, is the for you're the first person you should see now. Why would you say you've been attending night vigil every time? And you know that some men, eh, when you tell them things like that, it's condescending because him too is a man of God. So you're not telling him that you want to honor another pastor before him. It was a blow on his face. I went to Lagos. I came back. 
my husband met my people, gave me my beautiful engagement ring. You're seeing as at those days, this ring was over three thousand dollars that he bought it. Diamond ring, you can imagine. I want to miss it because of a uh, one night vigil. No, now, so God spoke to me. I spoke to somebody and I went, met my husband. I came back. This same person, you know, which one, one month, see how God fights my battle. She came back, saw a ring on my hand. She said, Ah, my family, they are now them, they do me. I said, Why not? Ah, what's going happen? How can your family be doing you? She said, A man came from London. My own is even US. The US is not better than London. I'm sorry. I'm not like, yeah, people, I, I, I respect everybody. But you imagine that a man came from London and wanted to get married to somebody else. So the person he came to meet, he didn't really like the person. As he was passing, Ben Flair said, I know a lady who is with my friend and she has three kids from another man. He takes care of her and her kids. He's a young man. You see, there are some men that are actually good. So she now said, this gentleman came from London to get married to somebody else, but the relationship did not work. He didn't like the person. So he, as he was passing, he now saw our company and I said, ah, what of this girl that used to live here? I used to know her dead before I went to London. So when he said that, he now said, they should call her. He has up to like a week to spend in Nigeria. That he wants to see her because he, he already knows her. So it will be a fast process for him to just do introduction and get married to her. At least because he wants to get married before he goes back to London. So this lady's family, then she was posted in for her industrial attachment in the in the West. I think one in one uh, Yoruba uh, land or something, you know, state. She was posted there. She was not in in her you know in her state. So the family started calling her and saying, "Where are you?" She said, "What is happening now? I'm doing my industrial attachment in this place." They said, "Come now, oh, it's urgent, oh." It's urgent, oh, it's urgent, oh. She said, what is urgent now? I cannot leave this place like that. What is urgent? They said, just come now. This thing that we're saying is urgent. Come, 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 come. They kept telling her to come for one week. She said, if you cannot tell me why I have to, did anybody die? They said, no. She said, if you cannot tell me why I have to come back home, I would not come. So after one week, they kept telling her, come. What are they waiting? You know how God used to catch you? You know, God knows how he catches wicked people. She did not go. So guess what? The man now left. After the man now left, the family now called and said, your problem is you are too stubborn. They are from Delta. You are too stubborn. You know, see this person's son was around. He said he wanted to see you. That if he liked you, he would have gotten married to you. You know, you're too stubborn. Do you know what she came to do? She came and lied down in my pillow that day and was crying. He said, why did my family not t- tell me that a man came from London to marry me? If they had told me, I would have left that same day. Don't so worry to go and see that man. Why? So now I don't have to pinch myself. If I tell my husband this story, he used to laugh. And I don't said, so you, a man that was that is not involved in your life, you don't know him. He came to marry somebody else. If he's even me, I won't see you. Not even you. And the thing did not work. And this same man now asked, okay, where you they make when I meet? And you are crying. You're blaming your family for not telling you that a man came. But me, that somebody has been involved in my life, is that I should not go. So what am I saying? Don't listen to some friends that will give you bad advice and have you leave your marriage. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to gossip. Some of your friends, you're in a competition with them. Loki, you don't know. Yes. Some of your friends. There are some, there are some people that I know then that if I tell them I want to do something, that is when they want to do it. Mm-hmm. You're in a low-key competition with your friends it's not everybody that tells you leave your husband that loves you some of them want you to leave your husband so you can be single like them so you can be baby mamas like them so you can be in the market together don't leave your husband except you have that personal conviction in short if you're going to leave your husband let nobody tell you leave leave because you you have decided that is enough hallelujah amen uh, we are done with this today's session. Uh, Mama, I want, I have there are some things I want, I want, to, to, I want to add to this. this I'm thing. giving you one yes, minute. Ma'am. Okay, quickly. Okay. Well, uh, you I, you mentioned uh, women telling the uh, uh, truth in their husbands. Yeah. Now, you, you, you hit it the way it is. But where I'm coming from is most of the time men don't accept the truth because of how it's been said. Not that they don't know. But because it's the way they perceive it. Now, if a man, that same truth, another woman will tell that same man outside. And he would listen to her. Why? Because of the way she delivered it. Now, it's not like you're going to paint it or you're going to lie. Because I saw somebody said, oh, but we are lying to him. No. 
We're not saying you should lie to your husband or keep the truth away from him. But how you say it, like mama gave an example. If he's, if he's not hitting it well, shout at him, the roof is about to go up. When that whole section is done, you now say, ah, you now say, okay, babe, I think we should try another style. Let's mm -hmm. see. Then you control it. That's how it works. That is how it works. Because you, you know what you want. He might not know. So you will really want to use his hand, hold his hand, and direct him the way you want things to happen. Is it going to, exactly. is it going to You can even reposition doing lovemaking and everything like that to get what you yes. want. Yes. Some most of the time, especially when, this thing that this uh, women, especially African women, we have to teach our, our girls to be bold. And when I say bold, bold, rude, being rude it's doesn't not mean you're bold. Bold, yes. Sarcastic doesn't mean you're bold. Not knowing how to speak doesn't mean that you're bold. Those are weak people that don't know how to um that don't know how to use strength. So most of the problems that men have is how women speak to them, especially why. The same thing I would say, I might not say it well to my husband. Somebody else would say it to him that same thing, but he would take it because of and let me tell you delivered. one thing about my husband, if he's wrong or right, the moment I start my argument by raising my voice is that matter don't scatter. Exactly. You know, we'll get I my point too. That is I cannot speak to my husband. That point I'm trying to yes. I'm trying to pass. It's not, that matter has scattered. Yes. There are so many times that, that if you sit down, there's wrong in what he has done. But if but, I start shouting, you will not it's listen. Done. So these are some attributes, these are some virtues we have to learn yes. as women of God and as wives. God bless you. Uh, please, Lady Pink, DM me your number. Let's start with our historical love journey. Hey, hey, Ben Flay, don't collect number on this platform. <laughs> reach me if you're in love with them. Reach me first. Stop uh -huh. it. Yes. I will disgrace you very soon. He should don't reach worry. you first. Reach please. me first. We don't want to just love the market. Thank you everybody for joining. Them. I love you all. Thank you. You make you make this platform very beautiful. Please, I want to say share it. Share it with your friends. Share, share, share. The 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 how we can reach each other is by evangelize, evangelizing. It's how you share, tell people to come follow me and all. And if you're doing it, I will know. The Spirit of God will tell me that this one is your number one person. Like Bill Flay here is an awesome person. God bless you. Middleman, the don't they will. Yes. Reflect, middleman done their relationship. This one, let me go with the middleman. Don't do it without me. You're even owing me plenty of stuff. God bless all of you. God bless you. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Let me again next week for an exciting topic. I don't have a topic yet, but as God leads, I'll bring a topic. Mm -hmm. And if you think you have a topic you want us to talk about, inbox me that topic. We'll review it. We'll talk about it. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, man.